Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here, and today I'm going to show you how to offer subscriptions on your Shopify store. We will be adding a product that customers can subscribe to on a monthly or weekly basis. But first, let me tell you the advantages of a subscription business model and why you should consider it no matter what you're selling. The most obvious reason to have a subscription business model is that you can accurately predict how much revenue your business will regenerate the following month. You will also be able to anticipate future demand and produce or order products based on guaranteed sales that you will get from your subscriptions. Pretty much all of the big companies rely on subscriptions for continuous growth and small companies should too. But Ikumbul, subscriptions is not a native feature of Shopify. You need a huge development team to be able to do this. My friend, it's actually easier than you think. Well, show me how then. Of course I will. That's what I'm here for. Let's get started. To have a subscription business model and offer subscription boxes and have recurring payments, you're gonna need an app. And the app that I like is the AppStill Subscriptions and Loyalty. And I like it for a few reasons. Let me show you. First of all, and the most important thing, it has 0% transaction fees. A lot of other apps, they get a cut of every sale that you make, and I don't like that business model. It's just bad for growth. And also, the good thing is that it is free until you have at least $500 in monthly subscription sales. Then, after that, you just pay $20 per month, and you have up to 10,000 monthly subscription sales. So I think it's very well priced, especially because of all the features that it has. And I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can download it directly. But let's go and see the back end of the app. All right. So here is where you will handle all of your subscriptions, where you will see your analytics, where you will see your customers, you know, the ones that are active, the ones that are paying every month and the orders get imported to Shopify and you just see them as a regular order. So, you know, you can just ship it seamlessly. And very cool that this has is the, when you go to shop settings, you can adjust so many things and also you can integrate it to your theme. So we will get the colors, it will get the layout, the format, so it will look super native. And now let's create a product so we can offer it as a subscription. So we're going to go to products and add product. And you're going to add a product just like you normally do. Just add the title, add the description add a few images, add the options if it has some different variations like size or color. Let's add some images to this variance really quickly. Add images and it will be like that. All right. And now let's view the product. All right. So the product is right here. We got the images, the description, the customer will be able to select the size and add it to the cart just as normal. But now we're going to add the subscription option. So let's go to the app store app and let's look for manage plans inside the subscription plans you're going to click on subscription plans and create your first subscription plan let's give this plan a name and now we're going to select the products that will have this subscription plan so let's look for the product that we just added and it will be this one right here so we'll select all of the variations and click on add so now we have it here. We have the product and now we have to choose the frequency. So monthly, bi-weekly, daily, if you want, you know, let's first do the monthly and let's choose the pay as you go plan. And basically the difference between the plans is that the pay as you go, they charge them immediately. All right. And then you also have prepaid one time plan where a customer will pay for a few deliveries, right? So multiple periods of future orders at the same time. So just at the beginning. But what happens with the prepaid one-time plan that it doesn't automatically renew. But you also have prepaid auto renew, which will allow you, for example, to charge the customer for three months. And after the three months, you will charge them for three more months. But we're going to go for the standard pay as you go. Now for the frequency plan description, this is what your customers will actually see on the product page. Let's explain the plan. We're going to just put receive one black and one white F3 gym shirts every month and the frequency will be every one and months. All right, you can choose specific order dates in case that, for example, you want to ship all of the subscriptions on the first of every month, but I don't want to do that. I want to start the subscription whenever they actually buy the subscription. If they buy the fifth and they choose a monthly plan, the next fifth of the next month, I'm gonna send them another pack of shirts. Now let's choose a few advanced options. So the minimum number of orders, I'm just going to leave it at one order. They just have to buy the subscription for one month. 
and the maximum number of orders, it doesn't matter. So let's offer a free trial. No, not for this kind of product. And let's offer a discount for the subscription. Yeah, so we're going to offer them 20% off if instead of just buying the product once, they actually sign for a subscription. All right, that's good. Let's click on save. Now it shows right here on the subscription plans, but let's check the product. All right, so this was the product. Let's just refresh the page. And yes, you can see it right here. The customer can just buy the product or they can subscribe and save. So yeah, monthly delivery, receive one black, one white every month, and you're saving 20%. So it's very compelling, right? Now let's add a bi-weekly option. So let's go back to the subscriptions plan and let's edit the plan again. We're going to go down here where we made the monthly and we're going to add more frequency. And this one is going to be bi-weekly and it's going to be also pay as you go. And the description will be uh, the same, but just every two weeks. The frequency will be, so let's put two weeks and advanced options. It's going to have the same offer discount. It's going to be the same discount, all right? 20% off minimum orders one and safe. Now let's go and check on the shirt again. Let's refresh the page. So they have one time purchase or they have subscribe and save and they can choose monthly or bi-weekly. See, and it updates. Now let's see what happens when the customer buys the shirt and also what the merchant will see in their backend. And speaking about subscriptions, how about you subscribe to this channel for more e-commerce content? Thank you for that. Let's continue. All right, so let's just make a test order. I'm going to go for the monthly and well, you can also hover on subscription details and it just tells you, you know, uh, how the subscriptions work. But let's add to cart. You're buying the F3 bundle on double XL and it's going to be a monthly plan. Let's check out. We fill up all of the information and we click on subscribe now. You see how it's not buy now. It says subscribe now. And now we arrive at the thank you page. And look, because there's going to be a few things that are different from a normal checkout. First of all, you have this element here, the subscription. Continue to your account to view and manage your subscriptions. Please use the same email that you use to buy the subscription. This is just in case the customer doesn't have an account already on the website. You know, so they can just sign up and manage their subscription. And you see here, it says recurring total $31 every month. All right, let's click on manage your subscription. And this is what the customer will see. You see, one month subscription is active. I made a test before and I closed the subscription. So this is how we will also show if you have subscriptions that are already closed where you can see the details of that subscription, right? So, okay, this is what you're getting, the shipping information, you know, the payment details, and you can, of course, cancel the subscription if you want as a customer, right? Now let's see how it looks on the back end as a merchant. On the back end of the App Store app, you're just going to go to subscriptions. And here you can see all of the subscriptions that you have. And as you can see, this is the one that I tested and I cancel it. And then this is the one that is active that we just created. So you can see, you know, the details of the people. And when you click on subscription details, you can see everything right here. And let's say that the customer needs to change something and, you know, they just email you instead of changing it themselves. You can, of course, edit anything that you need in here on the back end without needing the customer to go and change the stuff. Let's see how it looks in your actual Shopify orders page. You see right here, this is the order that we just received and the delivery method is subscription. And you also have the tag app store subscription. So you can easily go and filter by, for example, tags and you just put, you know, app store subscription and you will be able to, you know, just to see all of the subscriptions that are coming up. All right. We're going to close that. And when you open the actual order, you can see the details of the subscription. And of course, if you click on view subscription, you automatically go to the back end of the App Store app and you have it, you know, right there. So I think it's pretty easy to add subscriptions to your store and you can add subscriptions to a bunch of products and do different product combinations. You can even do build a box is a feature that they have where a customer can select different kinds of subscriptions. And if they combine different types of subscriptions for different products, you can even give them a higher discount. 
So there's a lot of options. What I'm going to do is add a bunch of subscription options on my store for different kinds of products on different categories. And to make it legit, I bought a bunch of subscription boxes from Alibaba. I designed them and I think they cost me like about $3 per box and I got about 500 boxes. They are pretty big. So depending on the size of your products, you know, you can probably save a little bit of money or spend more. I'm very excited for the future of my store now that I have these subscription options. It used to be impossible, but now with this app, it's super simple. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.